Revenue Management and Revenue Strategy Revenue and Yield Management are the topics in the final year of any hospitality course. It is confusing to many students, simply because of the so much jargon employed, to express it, define it, and explain it. It also uses maths and statistics, which frightens the students from humanities stream. So, I would first like to give a simplified concept, and then go on to give a more detailed presentation in the next videos. Let us start. First, think of the answer to this question. Why would anyone like to open and run a business? I did not say an NGO. Just a simple business. You all know the answer. It is profit. Attach this word forever to the idea of revenue management in your mind, because that is an overall larger picture of a really complicated story. Hotel is a unique business. If it does not sell the rooms today, the income is lost forever. A hotel also cannot welcome all types of guests. Only those who can pay and fulfill their needs from the services offered by the hotel are welcome. Let me now quote a definition of revenue management that you will easily find in any Google search. Selling the right room to the right customer at the right time at the right price and through the right distribution channel. But why? For maximum profit. However, I would like to use a more suitable term, that is optimum profit, from the hotel business. Let us further decode this need of revenue optimization, to get a clearer understanding. Right customer, all customers are not the same. Some are more profitable overall, and they are the right customers. Right room accommodation that best serves the needs of the travelers, in terms of the purpose of travel, is the right room. If it is also priced higher, it will be so much better. Right price, charge as high a rate as possible, but without seeming to be robbing your customer. This point we would later discuss under ethics. Here comes the next question. How can you charge high rates during low demand period? During off season, we charge as high as the customer can bear to pay, but not lower than the lose it rate. Lose it rate is the price point at which a hotel would spend more on the guest and earn less from them. In that situation, it is better to keep the room vacant. What do you say? Right time. Buyers and sellers have always tried to bargain, so as to maximize their individual gains, or value. When demand is more in a market, the seller has an upper hand. In times of low demand, the buyer is the king. So, right time for a hotel would be when the customer is under pressure of getting a confirmed reservation. Naturally. Any traveler is most anxious when the time is nearer to the day of the tourist's arrival, and the peak of nervousness would be today. Walk-in guests pay the highest price, and don't complain much either. Right Channel Hotel sells its rooms through many channels, but the most important ones are Hotel's own website Online Travel Agencies ODA. Global Distribution System GDS, and Central Reservation System CRS. Every channel requires the hotel to spend some money. The channel with the least cost of acquisition is the right channel. Cost of acquisition is the commission and the marketing expenses that a hotel has to pay in getting one guest in the room. It is very easy to see, that the direct bookings to the hotel, and the reservations made on a hotel's own website, would require no commission, and need less expenses. 
so that should be the best channel. But these days, travelers love the convenience of making all the travel-related arrangements on a popular ODA. So choosing the right channel isn't that simple. To conclude this presentation, I would request you to remember these two sayings, which best define the mindset of a smart revenue manager. Make hay while sun shines. Something is better than nothing. I am sure you have heard these sayings before, and you also understand their connection with this situation. Stay tuned. We will have more on this shortly. Thank you for watching the video till the very end. You are a sincere student, and you will surely succeed in your career. Hopefully, you have also realized the greatest responsibility you shall have as a future manager. Best of luck.